Hello and welcome back to my Punk Cake series in which I play every Punk Cake game released. This is Pigments. It released for the month of, uh, what, where are we at? Uh, September. <laughs> okay, uh, the year has just flown right by, hasn't it? Um, this is uh, typically um, from Punk Cake, a very cute looking game and I'm, I'm really excited to give it a go. Battle? Yo, do we have multiplayer in this one? The punk cake always impresses me with the level of polish and uh, the extra mile they go with their games. Um, so we got Apple. All right, let's 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 give Apple a go. So um, this game is gonna look a little bit familiar for those. It looked familiar to me, but in a good way. Uh, I used to play, I don't know like what these games were called, but um, there were, I played a few games that were basically like, um, you know, there's enemies on the screen and you have to kind of like uh, Cut the screen in half in order to to like kill them. This isn't really like that But it's kind of a territory arcade game um, So it kind of gave me that vibe a little bit. So we're painting the ground um, We don't have to paint the 30% at the bottom. That's nice And we're trying not to get sliced and it looks like uh, we have a certain amount of pigment hence the name um, in our bar, and if we run out, I'm assuming we are going to die. And as the level progresses, we are you know, things are going to get more and more challenging. Um, if we walk on our own pigment, then it doesn't use up the pigment. That's good to know. Um, and we can, we want to, we're limited in that uh, we probably need to fill up our, our uh, color gauge in order to continue filling the board. So, those are pretty much everything you need to know. Um, it seems that the, you know, things only happen when we move. Making this a traditional roguelike. No, that's not, that's not true. Um, oh, okay, hold on. Wait, yeah, right, I want to be, whoa, did it switch? If I feel like it switched directions there for a moment. That was, that was a little bit scary. Oh, I guess this, um, the screen thing in the middle isn't actually walkable space. Um, trying to, something, something, uh, this is the city, the walkable cities that liberals want. Um, all right, so we're, we're almost done painting the, the whole floor. Oh my god, things are getting really dicey. One could even say slicey, because these, uh, these, these gears are getting kind of close. I know they're saws, but they look like gears to me. I'm a little bit worried about some of these silver ones. Okay, I'm, I made the right choice there. Ooh, 100%. I disagree. There was at least one square there that was not painted. New record. Yo, we did it. Okay, orange is done. Okay, so orange has a certain... They have stats. We have fruit stats in this game. Apple has um, maximum sugar. Are these, um, are these joke stats? I feel like they maybe do not actually do anything. Unless maybe the, the fruit dictates the level. Oh, regenerate. The orange regenerates, maybe. All right. Ooh, we start with a silver saw. Oh God, we got sliced. I love the little animation when you get sliced. It's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, oh God. Oh wow, this, is, this one's really hard actually. Or maybe I'm- oh, wow. Death on the first move. Speed run. Any percent speed run. Okay, let's- let's try a little bit harder here, shall we? I'm trying to- ooh, okay. To- to not be in the path here. This game is basically, um, hard mode DVDs. Uh, DVD loading screens or screensavers. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that that one uh, that one DVD logo that everyone has apparently seen. It feels like the saw is uh, in a random kind of orientation every um, every game. So that that's gonna lead to some games being easier than others for sure. Because, like, this one's a lot easier than the last couple I've had. If it's moving diagonally, then it's going to be a lot harder, I think. Because we can't really move diagonally. We can only move um, orthogonally. So, um, it, it just feels a little bit 
Unfair. Ooh, God. Ooh, that was that was bad. Okay, we got to f almost 50%. The orange is much harder than the apple. It's okay, we can do this. All right. I got kind of lucky with that saw placement. Don't want to get that pigment yet. I want to paint the right side of the screen first. Uh oh, what do I do here? No, I, I chose poorly. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm not doing very well. I, w I did really well. I beat my first, the first level I tried, but now I'm not doing very well. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to get this pigment just yet. And, okay, so regenerate means I don't actually have to, um, pick up the pigments. It, apparently if I just, like, walk on my own path... Oh my god. I'm really bad at choosing a direction. Alright. We're gonna, we're gonna move around... Uh... On the side that the saw is not on. Okay. Just need to not go near the saws. Oh my god. I, yo, I am really bad at this game. This, or, or it's also a very hard game. You know, one of those. Okay, can, let's... Can we get a bit luckier with the, the saw placement? Alright, this is, this is better. Sort of. Not really, actually. I'm a little bit concerned yeah that was that was it so okay nothing bad happens when you run out of pigment you just can't paint anymore so we, we need to recover some of our pigment and I feel like what I want to do is actually focus a bit more on survival than on um, painting I've been focusing very much on painting but that's not really working out for me is it Oh, I'm so glad that that saw bounced away from me. But we got more saws on the way here. Okay, I'm gonna try and recover a bit of our pigment. These these slow saws are not gonna be too much of a problem, so long as I don't... Wow, that was so close. So long as I'm a bit careful about my movement. Oh, God. Okay, I... I Trying not to get away with anything because I, every time I try and get away with something, I, I die. So I'm trying to give some of these saws a wide berth. I think this... I, I smell victory in the air, honestly. I know it's a bit soon to say, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not feeling so good about that other saw. Oh! oh. That was, there's nothing I could do there. 70, 79%. Well, we unlocked the watermelon, so that's nice. Alright, we, I, I'm gonna try again. I, I, I wanna, I, I do want a 100% punk cake games. They're a bit more of an ask than sock pop games because they have generally a lot more replayability. They, they shoot for replayability, um, than Sock Pop. Sock Pop shoots for like one and done, uh, you know, you play it in a single session. Punk Cake are like, well, this is gonna take you a bit, and also it's really hard. <laughs> so we can actually bounce into the, you can move into the wall, even though it's, you can't actually move into the wall to speed the saws up. So that could, that could be a helpful strat, maybe. I'm a little bit concerned about, oh, oh, well, that's not reasonable. I was actually past the wall. I don't feel like that was possible, what just happened there. I was past the wall that the saw bounced on. Jesus, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna continue to try here. We're not gonna move towards the saw. I'm just gonna gauge the saw. The silver saw that moves really quickly is definitely a pain in the butt. Alright, alright. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I... I don't like this either, actually. But that's okay. You know, if the saw is moving diagonally, I feel like 
the difficulty spikes upwards quite a bit. Maybe it's just because I have a harder time um, figuring out the direction it's going to go in. I need to get, like, my protractor. Okay, I need- I wanted to get that pigment because I was not doing good for color. And the thing is, is that- oh, Yeah, there's nothing- there's- there's like- I, I went the wrong direction again. Um, there is an incentive to picking up these pigments because, uh, as you've seen, the level gets harder as you progress. So your survivability plummets, and I really am really bad at picking the direction. Wow. Yeah. This is a, possibly one of the hardest punk, uh, punk cake games that I've played. Only because I'm bad at it. Okay. No. No, we, we don't want to do that now, do we? Okay, I, I almost got sliced there, but I didn't. The silver saw is my nemesis. Okay, I almost uh, died for that pigment, so that was that was pretty good. Um, I'm not safe right now. <laughs> I'm like the opposite of safe. I'm doing okay right now, but that's just because the silver saw. Okay, never mind. Trying to make my way over to <laughs> the. So, uh, the pigment, but it's just not happening. Oh god. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pay attention to basically everything at once. That was almost my death. I'm mostly paying attention to that silver saw, and then if one of the other saws get closer, then, um, you know, I definitely keep my eye on them. Oh, please. That was so close. No! I picked wrong. 70%. Alright, let's try a different uh, different fruit. The the the, uh, the the orange is is a problem for me. I clearly cannot be trusted with the orange. Okay, so we've got saws that move in a predictable pattern. I kind of appreciate that actually. We still need to paint their um there's squares, but we don't have to necessarily worry about them jumping in. Um, there is, of course, other saws we do have to worry about. I really like the the look of the fruit. They're they're I don't know. There's something about them that looks cute to me. Cute fruit, you know. We are banana. Banana is not really a fruit that you can juice. I have tried. I have actually tried. It was a, uh, you know, when I was uh, a, a young lad. Ooh. I tried to juice a banana. Didn't work out for me. That's fine. You know, you can't, can't have everything in life. And uh, that includes a juiced banana. Okay. All right. That was, that was a little bit spicy, a little bit dicey, a little bit slicey. Oh, come on. That was not not what you want to see. All right, let's try it. We'll try a kiwi. I think this is kiwi. Where am I? Oh, I, I kind of look like one of the saws right now. Oh, I almost died right away there. I don't know what kind of like this. There's different stats, but I don't know what any of them mean. I feel like a lot of them are just a joke. Don't actually do anything. I'm wondering what these blue tiles do, if anything. No, nothing. No, you just can't move into them. Okay. I have to go get some coffee. It's time to fruit along with simple. Here we go. Um, this, this level isn't too bad. I feel like I could possibly do this as long as I'm not, like, being super bad. 
feel like you do want to move efficiently in this game. Sometimes that means waiting. Sometimes moving efficiently means waiting. I love the music in this game. Punk, Punk Cake really... They put that level of polish on a game that sets it above. It's a, it's a, it's a cut above, you know? A, a cut, a slice of fruit above other games. Alright, we, we have to wait here. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna endanger our fruit for the sake of the mission, okay? Sliced. 50%, all right, all right. I wish I knew what some of the um, stats meant. I don't know, I feel like they are jokes because I really don't think that there's anything that you can do. You, can, you don't, like, I don't have any extra abilities. Um, is there anything I can do here? Ooh. That was, uh, that was a real Neo moment right there. Okay, we ran out of pigment. We ran out of juice. I do wonder, like, it seems like the orange is the only one that has an ability. I'm wondering if the other ones have abilities that I'm just not aware of. Okay. Um, I don't know what's about to happen. Okay, it's moving left. Good. There's a lot of fruit on the screen. Or, sorry, uh, the uh, saws. Never thought I'd have to say that again. Um... <laughs> I was like, there's nothing I can do here, is there? Uh, alright, let's try, let's try coconut. Ooh, coconut. Coconut is weird. Coconut has white juice. Um, are these things- oh. Oh. Weird. Okay. So, co coconut gets two lives. Coconut has an extra slice in them. And apparently these switches make everything um, move towards you. In a way, that's kind of useful, because then it's easier to dodge. Oh god, that was close. Maybe I spoke too soon on that. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, we have three lives. <laughs> Yo, this is spicy! <laughs> Why is it spicy? Um, so what we could do is while we're on the other side of the saw, we'll, um, that's when we press all of the switches, because then they're just, we're just gonna have them bounce against the wall. Look at that, that was great. I feel really good about that. And we're gonna, we're gonna go to the other side as well. Unfortunately, this one saw... One slicey li who would you vote for, you know? Who, who, who do you think would win? A coconut or one slicey lad? Okay, well, that, that still works. The, the coconut, the worst thing about the coconut is that it, the, the coconut doesn't get very much juice. And, you know, I disagree with this um, idea because uh, coconuts are very juicy. Well, I guess they have a lot of water. They don't have a lot of juice. Mm. So, what are we saying about coconuts right now? What, what, what kind of statement are we making about coconuts? We, we think they're not juicy. It's not juice, it's water. It's not cereal, it's soup. I don't know. I think this is un unfair to the coconut. Some really fun things happening on this level. I actually feel pretty good about my odds on this one. Especially since I have more than one life. Alright, I am not feeling so good about how many saws are. Oh okay, so we got we got hit. There's a couple of switches left. That was close. I'm trying. 
to wait for them to be on the other side, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think there's too many saws on the on the field now, and so these switches have, have become kind of untenable. We only have one life left. Saws, good. please go away. No! There was so- we were so close. Okay, I'm gonna try that one one more time. We've unlocked some new fruits. I do want to prioritize these switches. Oh god, that was dumb. Oh god, okay, alright, you can't- I can't prioritize this which is that hard. When there's one- oh, when there's one saw, I can get a little bit, um, brave about this. But when, as soon as there's two saws, I have to be a bit smarter about it. <sighs> I didn't actually mean to do that. That was my bad. Oh, and, uh, oh, that's, that's fun. If, uh, you don't have a pigment, if you don't have any pigment, then you're just pushing the switch, um, for the heck of it. You're not actually, you're not actually accomplishing anything. Interesting. Okay, um... I, I do want to get these switches. They're gonna be a problem. We need more pigment. I'm 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 not do I'm not being very efficient on this one. I need to not just prioritize the switches, but also prioritize like picking up pigment. Hey, apparently you have to strike a balance between all three things: painting the board, well, four things actually: survival, <laughs> painting the board. The switches. I, I, this is truly terrifying. Okay, okay, we... Oh! Oh, I, I, I chose, I chose incorrectly. Alright, let's try another, another fruit. I don't know what kind of fruit this is. What is this fruit? I don't know what fr this looks like a chestnut. Oh, there's like uh, medicine happening or something weird. There's different different fruit definitely has different stuff going on. So what is this? Oh, I see they they seem to want to escape me. What what what? It doesn't seem to. Can we, can we, uh, move them into the saws or something? Oh, okay, so we, we want to kill them. We want to kill them by moving them into the saws. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. We only have one life again, so that's going to be something I have to deal with. Okay. So, what what is the point of killing the medicine? Oh, we can like move on top of this stuff? So that- oh god, that was dumb. I don't- I don't understand. I don't understand the point. Fiber. Oh, this is a chestnut. <laughs> chestnut is a fruit? Um, is that true? Yo, if we're declaring that chestnut is a fruit, then where's my olive level is all I'm saying. I would, uh, I would like an olive level, please. So we actually, um, Chestnut gets a safe zone, which is kind of nice. I would like to know what the point of this, these, like, little medicines are. They look like medicines to me, they're not really. Oh, they, they erase the board. Ah. The game just crashed. Yo, it just straight up crashed, though. Alright. 
Well, you know, that's that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Classic. I wonder what battle is. Um, let's try chestnut one more time. Oh, that's that was really good. Hey, I just realized. Okay, I, I thought that the they released new enemies on the board based on a time limit, but it's not a time limit. It's based on how much you've painted the board. That's really good to know, actually. The I feel pretty good about the kiwi. Oh, not kiwi. Sorry, um, chestnut. Because um, having a safe zone means we have an extra, like the the possibility of survival. I mean, I guess the coconut had extra lives. If I was gonna pick between um, a safe zone and extra lives, I think I'd go with extra lives. Chestnut has has it rough, to be honest. There's a it has a lot of things to paint. It's got these jerks to contend with. Let's move him over here, and then maybe... Oh god. Ah. Uh... Alright, no more chestnut. What is this? Plum? We can try plum. Oh, I like the plum look. Ooh, we have like destructible blocks now. There's a lot of variety in this game. For such a simple concept, there's like a ridiculous amount of variety. I really appreciate that. So the plum doesn't have very uh, a very big juice bar. <laughs> also, we can't destroy the walls in case you're curious. So with this one, we might want to like wait a little bit to allow the for the saws to destroy basically the rest of the level. We can also safely um, paint much of the left side. A lot of my pigments are in dangerous spots right now. Okay. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't necessarily a good idea. I I like this level actually. This is um this is a, a, one of the less uh, like nerve-wracking ones. I was like, oh, are, are we are we safe in that little nook? No. Okay. No. Okay. We're out of pigment. So we gotta we gotta make choices. Good choices. We need some vitamin C. Alright. This is uh this is going well. I'm 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 very optimistic right now. The the level is like almost completely destroyed and it's very big. The plums level's got to be one of the biggest ones, which gives us a lot of breathing room to not get sliced. Oh, that was I almost got sliced. No. Ah. Oh. Nice attention to detail. Um, the, all of the fruits have insides. So what do you have? Scale, sugar, juice, fiber, shell. I'm sure those stats do actually mean something. But I don't know what. So what's what's novel? Ooh. Oh, weird. So the blueberry has some kind of weird ability that when it's moving through its own juice, it's maybe slower? I almost feel like it's slower. I wonder if maybe it, uh, it, it means it, it's safe in its own juice, something like that. I'm gonna try and get sliced in the juice. Okay, you can get sliced in the juice, so I'm not sure... I'm not sure what the benefit, if, it, if there even is a benefit. I, I have a funny feeling it's not a benefit. I think it's just bad. I think the blueberry does not do well in its own juice. Some of these um, fruits are just going to be harder than the other fruits. They don't necessarily have... Whoa, what is what is with freaking Hyper Saw over here? That's not okay. I think we're just slower in our own juice. 
Yeah. This is a this is this would be a very difficult game to try in 100%. Okay, so what's up with watermelon? Watermelon. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> watermelon's got actual water in its level. That's fun. And the water is uh we can't paint the water. I think maybe the, the water actually offers us some safety. I think that act, that is actually true. Let's try it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, but the the water also gets rid of our pigment at a at, at like an actual like timed rate, not just um not just like however we move. So I mean, that makes sense. We also do have um, health as the watermelon. That makes sense. Watermelon is a fairly chonky lad. Uh, not, I don't mean to gender the fruits, but you know. I think that uh, the watermelon is, I think it's safe to say that the watermelon is a lad. That doesn't mean that they are, uh, you know, a male. It does mean that they are a lad. They are a chonky lad. I'm also not um, fat shaming the watermelon. My favorite watermelon is Chonky. All right. Oop, this could be bad. Nope, I think I'm actually gonna win one. That would feel good. I haven't had a win for a bit here. Oh, come on. We're so close. Yes, we got a win. That means we have we have unlocked new fruit. We gotta try the grape, and of course the grapes level looks like a wine bottle. Okay, so we have um, missiles, which make us confused. That uh, it messed with my controls a little bit, and that makes sense actually, cause <laughs> cause okay, so they don't get they don't make us confused. They make us drunk. That's my head cannon. I, I actually really appreciate the um, the attention to detail on these levels. Uh, grape has a moderate amount of juice, not a lot. I like the, I love the the design. Oh god, this could end badly. I'm still feeling pretty good about our chances here, as long as I don't get. Drunk. Oh, I thought it was okay there. All right, I want to. I want to try again. I'm gonna. I'm gonna proc the um, the little missiles. Oh, okay, that didn't work out. I'm gonna proc them and then move out of their way. Oh, that was bad as well. You can just get perma drunk if you're very unlucky. And you can, you can dodge them, Neo style. That was very close. I, I wanna try and, oh. I wanna try and paint the, the bottleneck. Cause it's gonna be a dicey one to fill. Okay. I'm not feeling very good about this right now. Yeah, I was like, there's only one place I could move that would maybe be safe. All right, let's try the pear. We're trying the pear now. Or I am gonna tr like try every fruit if I, if able, if I am able. This saw uh, is a nightmare. Why? Ooh, excuse me. Whoa. We have we have phasing abilities. I love it. That's actually really nice. Can we we can phase like wow, that's actually really cool. We can phase through like an entire block. Oh. Can we Oh, we can even phase through the entire level. 
Oh, that's so cool. I love that. This means uh, we can actually be really efficient with our movement. And it also means we can escape saws, like, really, really easily. I'm feeling- I'm feeling really good about the pair, actually. Not feeling very good about my skills. 67, though, that's pretty good. I- I see we unlocked a new fruit. Okay, I, I, we're gonna try that last fruit. I feel like it's a lychee. I don't know if it's lychee or lychee. I've never known. People have told me, but I've also been corrected both ways. So... Let me know in the comments. Also, how do you say fruit in your language? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just really don't like that trend. Let's like arbitrarily uh, inflate the comment section by asking inane questions like, "Oh, how do you say fr how do you say pear in your language?" How do you say pear of fruits? Oof, that was close. It's okay, we're gonna follow the saw so that I have a better chance of avoiding it, if that makes sense. Oh god. Okay, we're, we're good. We're not good. We're not good! Oh god. Okay, I actually had a really good option there. I could have moved through the, through the block. So what is this? Oh, it's a peach. Alright, let's try the peach. What is the peach? Oh, they're, they're frogs. Yo, what? Frog lads are not your friend. And they can also reach across the level. Oh, what the heck? You can't, you're, you can't even, like, you gotta be quick. And the peach can't go in the water. Oh, I hate this. This is actually the worst level ever. I can't believe you- I can't believe you made frogs the enemy. Frogs have always been our friends. Frogs are friends. Can't believe you. Okay, they do have a range. And I'm assuming that when they're- oh, Culped. Or gulped. I'm assuming that when they're jumping, they're- they're not gulping. And, uh, also when they're in the water, they're not gulping. But, can we even, like, move past them safely? Because this seems, like, untenable. I- I want to try and achieve this level. But the frogs are a real prop. Whoa, the frogs can die? That makes sense. I- I never honestly thought that the frog would die. I'm very used to frogs being sacred, like, space. Oh, God. I wonder if we can stun the frogs like we could the, um, pills. I, I'm assuming not, and, and I think it would be better not to try, to be honest. But the, the frogs are, are smart. They seem to be jumping out of the way of saws. So them dying is probably not a likely occurrence. Kind of hoping... They, they're right on top of my juice right now. Can't really do anything about this. I can't juice up. I cannot juice up. Oh, okay. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, this level sucks. This one, this level is definitely meant to be harder than your average level. Frogs are definitely um, the boss of this game. Oh God, I almost died. The peach doesn't seem to have any extra abilities. They're just, you know, they're just frogs. Sorry, the, the peach is just a... Peach is not a frog. I was wondering if maybe if, if the frog tongued the saw, if that would do something cool, like they can't use their tongue for a while until they regenerate. It's 
So we can um, predict the frog movement a little bit. They are um, susceptible to the same problems that we have, which is that they die to saw blades. Um, this is actually good because it means that when the saw is like right next to them, we know that they're about to hop. And when they're ho hopping, they're not tonguing. And of course, um, them getting killed by saws is also very good news for us. Like I say, I don't know if it's a likely occurrence. And of course, there I, I see on the right side there, there is um, replacement frogs. But right now we are frog safe. Uh, what does one do here? Sometimes patience is key. Oh, frog got very unlucky there. We are likely going to be unlucky very soon. I, I'm not feeling good about our odds against the frogs. Okay, I, I am doing pretty good right now. I don't know if I could eke out a win. That would be really nice. <sighs> There's two more frogs in our lineup. Be right back. Okay, um, it crashed again. All right. Well, um, the game needs a little bit of a little bit of stuff going on. Um, <clears throat> there's also this new record that is like on the screen f perpetually forever. Um, you may see it. I don't know. Do you see it? Maybe it's only for me. I wonder. Anyway, I wanted to try battle mode before uh, before I call this video. Um, and it is, it kind of reminds me of, uh, an old, well, it's old now, but when I played it, it was not old. <laughs> um, there was a, uh, there was a quite a few, uh, kind of, like, spin-off games from the Crash Bandicoot series. And one of those that I played was called Crash Bash. And this game does actually kind of remind me of Crash Bash a little bit. What had, it, it was basically, like, to Crash Bandicoot that Mario Party is to uh, Super Mario. It might surprise you to know. Um, oh god. Alright. Are we done? We're done here. And uh, yeah, this game does kind of remind me of that. Th this game uh, has been done a few times. Like, the whole paint the surface idea. Um, but I like this I like this execution of it. I think it's really good. I like the different fruits. I think it's got a really fun aesthetic. It's really hard. One of the hardest punk cake games I think I've ever played. Um, I already said that, but it's true twice. So, uh, so battle mode. What is battle mode? Well, we've got an AI that is trying to compete for floor space, and when they die, you get 12, basically quotation mark turns, to um, make up the distance between you and your your opponent. And then, uh, and that's it. Survive as, as per normal. There is, it seems to only be the one arena is the only thing I think is maybe an, a missed opportunity. Um, it does seem to put a lot of the emphasis on your abilities. Oh, that was dumb. Um, you know, your fruits abilities. And I think that for the most part, Either the coconut or watermelon are going to be like exceptional choices because they are generally going to get uh, survive unless you're like unless you're me and in, in which case you uh, are going to unfortunately die anyway. Also, I mean it's worth saying that the coconut has a pretty big sh um, shortcoming, which is that it use um, runs out of out of water very quickly. Oh, also I can pick up my uh, opponent's pigments. This, uh, this makes it so that, um, well, it, they can't pick it up after that, but also it, it throws a bunch of their color down, so if you're gonna do that, you, you probably want to clean up their pigments from the floor first. Oh, right, Pear's got teleport. Pear, oh, Pear just actually hurt me pretty good there because they got rid of my, my pigment. Coconut is actually you could you could really um, screw coconut good 
by by getting rid of their pigments even though it drops some of them on the on the floor it's you know you run out so quickly as the coconut but that's okay we can tank hits like a boss oh god oh god pretty sure i just clipped through one of the saws there we might still win here because it's not about whether you survive, it's whether or not you have more floor space. And we did win. I haven't uh, I haven't actually won a battle yet. I tried a battle in between... Um, in between crashes. I, I, I'm interested to see... What, what Maybe the blueberry will um, answer some questions as to wh why would you want to be the blueberry. Oh that, oh, that was really dumb. However, we did cover a lot of ground, so we're still gonna win. That's pretty good. That was like a- that was a speedrun right there. Um, I don't know if I want to do a full round of these. I, I haven't won yet, and I don't know if you unlock anything. This is, a maybe one of the sparser Punk Cake games for unlocks. They- Punk Cake loves unlocks, and I don't blame them. Unlocks are a really fun concept in general. Um, but yeah, this one, this is a, uh, this, this Punk Cake game, uh, Pigment doesn't really have a lot in, in, uh, in unlocks. There is a hard mode, I noticed, if you have a certain amount of percentage, uh, spread amongst all of your colors, then you, um, can try hard mode. Hard mode means that there's more blades on the screen, big surprise. There's an easy mode as well. Um, I'm never gonna be inclined to tr want to try easy mode, but, um, uh, it basically slows the the blades down. Okay, watermelon's doing a really good job of keeping pace with me. In fact, they they've got me right where they want me. I love the look of the coconut as it's like about to die. I might die here. Uh oh. I wonder if you could like mess with the opponent by making the blades turn. It seems that the blades only move when you move. It doesn't matter if the opponent is moving. So I wonder if you could like have the you know move the bo the, the saws right into the enemy at like the perfect moment. Okay, I guess I'm still playing battle mode, so it says something about its, uh, how compelling it is. I'm not gonna collect the enemy's pigment. I don't think that's actually worth it. There is a strategic, uh, reasoning, but I don't think that it's, it's actually worth it. I'm actually, I think there is something to be said about intentionally dying as well. If you think you have, um, a bigger, you know, ratio of, of paint on the ground than the, than the opponent. I think there's you could just like run into a saw blade and just like ensure your victory Because why give them more time to try and uh, keep, compete? I know they get you know, they get they get some extra time I plum for some reason always wins by the way. I've never beaten plum plum's got some kind of secret um, Ability that I don't really understand I think, I think it's just that it's purple, and purple is the superior color. We know this, right? This is a, this is like a known objective thing. Alright. Let's see if they win. Oh, maybe not, actually. They didn't do a very good job of, like, closing the gap there. I think, I think maybe the AI on uh, the opponent is not very clever. Because I've seen them, like, jump back and forward quite a lot. No. Oh. All right. Well, fair's fair. The banana got me good there. All right. Honestly, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. They shouldn't be able to win. There we go. Coconut wins. We have only have two opponents left, including the orange, which is the only fruit. Well, never mind. It, the 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 orange has one of the most like significant abilities in the game. In my opinion, still. I'm not sure if the peach has any ability. Peach wins. How did peach win? 
I didn't get any to- oh, I guess we both died. Oh, I didn't know that that was even a, an option. We just gotta make sure we stay hydrated. And honestly, I'm gonna like move into a couple of saw blades on purpose because we we have the advantage here. For the opponent doing a very bad job of closing the gap there. Okay, we gotta make sure we're not just painting the ground, but painting the opponent's ground. Moving towards the juice as well. Orange is doing a very good job of keeping pace with us. This might be a, a rare moment where survival is actually your the, the path to victory. Oh no. Oh, we definitely lose there. Oh man, are, am I gonna game over on the last one? Yep. All right. Well, that's going to do it for Pigments. Pigments is a fun game. I like it. Um, I, I think that there's a, there's a couple of bugs here and there. crashed a couple times, but that's okay. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I would, uh, I would like, play as much of this as, say, like, um, Moon Pong. Or, um, you know, uh, what was it? Shotgun? Shotgun uh, King? Uh, that, that was, like, definitely an uh, in instant classic. Um, I do like it though, and I think that uh, it, it definitely still shows off Punkcake's uh, tendency to add a crazy layer of polish and execution to their to their games. So, um, yeah, pigments. Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments uh, if you liked it or not. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.